Core. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we've got a special guest with us today, Mr. Valley Woo! Flying. Finally, Valley Flying is back on the Wolverthor channel. Appreciate What's up, brother? Appreciate you being here, man. Thanks for coming. How's life treating you? Life is good, my friend. What about with yourself? Good, good, good. Coming over some of this uh, sickness, but uh, happy to happy to kind of get that thing behind me. Get some uh, videos uh, back out here on the uh, Marvel Strike Force, and you know we just did a little one together uh, right before this one to talk about uh, patch two point four, and we saved a little something special for this one for uh, Captain Marvel specific. So we'll we'll cover her here. Um, what's your kind of uh, initial impressions of just uh, her introduction to the game? All right, she is a very strong character from what I'm seeing. Now, she is in-game. You can see her kit in the game right now. You can't see the cooldowns on her special and her ultimate. Even with that, though, I, I would have to agree with what you said on my channel. God tier. I think she's very good. She's yeah. going to be, I think, a wrecking ball in this game. And I could see it on all different aspects of the game, you know, from raid to PvP and... Um, you know, you mentioned it in uh, other channel, depending, and we'll get into the specifics here, but depending kind of, uh, how some of her abilities work. So, um, and one of the things I do want to mention, uh, first is that, you know, she's a, she's a hundred shard character release. Uh, I have not seen anything, um, about exactly how she's going to be released or how you're going to get her. If there's certain requirements, have you seen anything in data mines or, uh, kind of anything online that you're kind of seeing as far as that goes? nothing nothing no data mines no rumors no anything i mean i mean there's people talking about a legendary release but who would you use hydra aim would they double up on kree i don't know so i, I don't know about that one maybe an event uh it look, uh, my guess would be uh, an event character similar to how they're releasing minerva maybe she'll be in the war store because she does have some military tags or maybe just a blitz character i don't know We'll have to wait and see, but probably one of those methods in there. True, true. And, you know, you mentioned her tra tag says traits, and that's one thing we can mention is that, you know, she's she's uh, obviously hero cosmic. She's got a bio brawler and then a Kree and then the new tag of military, which, you know, we've only got four military characters in the game, um, which I'll show here on screen real briefly. And uh, I don't know, have you looked at the military tags that they put in the game yet? It's it's a little lacking. One one notable exception is Punisher. Yeah, Does that's exactly what I was getting tag. to. I'm kind of, yeah, a little surprising he's not on there, right? He seems like the most military of all characters, but anywho. So uh, yeah, so those are her tags. Um, you know, uh, in your video we'd mentioned kind of her speed, uh, 127. You know, that's on the high end, so that's pretty solid. But let's get into this kit. So um, I think the first thing we should probably talk about. Um, you know, really is this ultimate, maybe with the passive, uh, how much, uh, I think we'll, let's, start, let's start with the passive because the, it can, some of the rest of the kit can get confusing if you don't know what the heck's going on with the passive. Very so true. So why, so why don't you start there? Yeah. So what's your, you tell me how you, you read this passive. What are you seeing happening with this passive and how it works with some of her other abilities? All right. So this charge is very important. She gets the charge on spawn. Uh, if she has at least one military ally, she'll get that. Uh, and then she gets them from using her special and her basic. Mm -hmm. And she, when she goes into the binary, that is when it matters. Yeah, and it seems like, uh, you know, her special and her basic each, you know, if you use it, it it'll build up that charge by one. You know, each time you use yes, it. Yes. And that's what kind of way, with a maximum of five, right? Yeah, and I think what the charge does is it lets you stay in binary longer. And there's some nice bonuses that you get when you're in the binary mode. Yeah, I agree. So so looking at this passive real quick, so I'm just going to kind of go over some of the, uh, the, the different aspects of this actual passive. So it's called Higher, Further, Faster, which obviously is in some of the promos. So it's kind of a... You know, they're obviously having some good synergy across the MCU all the way into their game here. Um, but uh, the first thing that you notice is, you know, the, the increased damage bonus. You know, it's it's 25% um, across the board damage while in binary, 25% increased armor across the board, 100% increased focus, and 100% increased resistance. 
Now that's uh that 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 can and that's just in level one, you know. Um, now granted, if you go up more, I didn't see anything in the actually I, that that stays consistent throughout um, all the upgrades. Those specific increases don't um, do any more increases regardless of whatever the the level is. So there's a nice damage output and resistance kind of. Uh, survivability to her uh, passive slash binary form uh, whenever you get into it. So that's that's a nice just kind of base passive. And on top of that, this is the while, big one. This is the big yes, one. Yes, it is. While in binary, just on level one, it starts at when you end your turn, you attack all enemies for a certain percentage, getting all the way up to what was your total on that? Yeah, level one is sixty percent. Goes up to ninety percent. Level two goes up to 120 percent yeah that's just a bonus yeah so hey i already <laughs> attacked you you know what i'm gonna attack you one more time me, for 120 percent damage attack the that? rest of the team yeah this is this is the minion killer right here yeah that's that's i mean that's you want to be in binary form i mean as yes. much as possible and if and i will say if if you can sustain a binary form that's really where her god tier is going to shine i mean she is just going to dominate Things. It's just like drop yes. summons. Nope, gone. Low low health. You're gone. You know, it's like starting to get you know past fifty percent health on something. And it's down twenty five. You know, she's really gonna kind of wreak some havoc there. And you mentioned the binary form thing in there. That's where these charges come into play. And you get a maximum of five. So maximum five turns you can stay in binary. It's a nice nice mechanic. I like I like what they did here. Yeah, it is. It is one of the nicest things that I think I've, you know, honestly seen as far as the you know, additions to the game, really happy kind of with it. It's just, it's something new. It really makes you think, you know, where you're just sitting here going, what is happening with this aspect? And, you know, sometimes when you have too many easy aspects, oh yeah, you point and shoot. Well, no, I'm going to heal. You know, it's like, this is not that, you know, it really makes you think, okay, um, you know, how am I going to use this ability? When can I use this ability? Obviously you want to use it as much as possible, but you know, one of the things you'd mentioned uh, previously is that we don't know when you'll be able to use her ultimate. You had mentioned when you thought, like what turn you thought might be it. And what do you think, you know, what is too powerful for as far as too soon when she can use it? And what is too long where it seems like it might be, uh, not be relevant? Well, here, if you use it too soon, you're not going to have enough charge to make it last. So I don't know if you sh should be able to use it on turn one. I like it on turn two. You could use your special or your basic, build up a charge. You got a military person right there in her team. She's going to have another charge. That'll last for at least two turns. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I, so I think turn two or turn three, you let it build up a little. And she's really going to shine in these longer battles. So uh, she really screams that alliance war to me. Yeah, I agree. And with, with what we know about it so far. Do you think a military ally on her team is a must because of these charges? I think getting that extra charge, keeping her in binary, will make it worth it. Again, we have to see the full cooldowns of all this, but mm -hmm. I, I think so. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go with you on that. I think, I think you're right. I think that in the end of the day, when people kind of shift through all the uh, theory crafting on this, they're going to find that, uh, you know, having a military to start. And I think you're right, you know, um, and you make a really good point where it's like that turn two, you don't want to use it too soon. You really want to wait till turn, turn two or turn three where you've got a few charges built up there. So it's not going to just, you know, go away immediately. So, yeah, I'm assuming this ultimate's going to have a high cooldown. So with that said, the if it has a high cooldown, you're using, you're getting into Bimer once and when you get into there you want to make it last with as much charges as possible yep totally totally agreed now one of the things we haven't even mentioned this yet on we're still talking about the passive if you guys are you know kind of wondering where we're at and we're this is just one ability of hers it also increases military allies max hp by 15 percent, as well as 10 percent damage for military allies and one other thing besides all this other stuff that it's doing it heals her every turn for 10 percent of her max hp in the words of Borat, is nice. <laughs> Very nice, yes. So, yeah, she's, I mean, again, that's just her passive. So, 
Uh, now, again, we've been talking about their ultimate, which is the binary. You know, it's um, ultimately what this is doing here is you're attacking the primary target um, and you're clearing all of its neg uh, negative effects or clearing all her negative effects. So yes. like you're saying, you know, you're going to use that a turn two or turn three. Maybe someone throws some bleeds on you. What, I'll, um, what I'm going to be interested in is what if someone throws a, an ability block on her and she's got by is that going to keep her from using binary, you think? Probably, right? Yeah. There's no there's no will. ability in the game so far that's kind of been able to circumvent that. Yeah, Jessica Jones. You're gonna have to bring Jessica Jones in to get your yeah, binary right? to get it off and your then team, actually, right? <laughs> yeah, that that could be one thing where I could see the kind of the counter to binary is if you you throw an ability block tune at her and she's just ability blocked for one or two turns and she's not able to get into it, um, which would be unfortunate. But um, and the truth is, is, I don't think they're gonna make it so she cleanses everything. But we'll see there. So. Um, but that, like I said, that ultimate gets up to 540% damage. Um, let's see, is there any other, uh, clears all the uh, negative okay. effects from herself once it's maxed out? Is it, is it 540 or 640? Uh, I could have done, well, what, with level seven at the T4, that's when it, I, that's when oh, okay. my match shows 640. So, and to me, you know, one of the things I kind of look at with a lot of these new characters and just in general is the T4, uh, ability mat upgrades. To me, assuming she's got a decent base damage, which I think she will, a plus 100% damage in a T format is very, again, very nice. So, yeah. um, and you know, and one thing I, I didn't mention with that passive is that T4 also uh, for the T4 ability upgrade um, on her passive gives another 30% damage to all the allies, plus another 10% healing to that um, max HP every turn. So that's. I, I, I can see people dropping some orange materials on that for sure. It's, it's definitely going to be depending on the cooldowns and how these skills lined up. If you want to use an orange ability on that passive level five, but without knowing that, I would I would think that it's very very good. I agree, I agree. So, and we're working a little bit in reverse order on these, and it's just it's because of the specialties that she has and really understanding the passive. So the next um, ability she's got here is her special called Warbird. Um, you know, and and Valley had mentioned you know the the buildup of charges and everything here. The fr this is another just kind of attack primary target um, and clearing all positive effects from that target. There's not a lot to it outside of the fact that it, you know, can build up to 290% damage. You know, you're maybe, I don't know, I, part of me thinks about Magneto a little bit here, his special, how he can clear. Obviously, she doesn't have a disrupt, but um, I don't know. It seems just kind of like it's a... It's a nice a spell to get around a tank. Yeah. You don't want to, you don't want to be stuck in, in back of a taunt. Yeah, exactly. So you clear yeah. it with this, and then next turn hit him with binary, and then you're just getting AoE after AoE. And then Hopefully you have your charges built up. Yeah, and that's and that's and you throw the basic in there, which is probably my favorite name now in the game of any ability, Princess <laughs> Sparkle Fist. Yeah. So uh, pretty excited about that one. Uh, might get it tatted on the across the shoulders. I'm not sure. I'm not, uh, but I'm, I'm definitely in love with uh, this name. I'm not sure where it comes from. Uh, someone comment below to let us know. I'm sure there's some comic lore here. That, I'm sure in two weeks it'll be very apparent when the movie comes. You're out. probably right. There's probably some Nick Fury comment that uh, he starts calling her that throughout the movie or something. But uh, <laughs> again, a, a kind of a basic attack here. You know, it gets up uh, without the uh, T4 ability mats. 280% damage. Um, there is a 50% chance to attack an ad adjacent target for 180% damage. I didn't see an increase in that percent um, of chance, but... Um, no, not very reliable. Yeah, so that's just kind of like... Uh, it reminds me of the Iron Man. I think it's his basic. It's like a 30%. A little bit better than that. So it's just kind of like, yeah, she might do it. She might not, whatever. And again, you know, to, it ties to the uh, binary where using that will gain a charge. So... Yeah. Um, that's... This is this is where it's all explained on losing all charge and binary. Yep, it's explained in the basic right here. So that's that's kind of where the logic of this came from. That's right, and you know, and when that binary is over, I guess you try to build it back up if the match is lasting thirty minutes at that point. It probably shouldn't be, but you'd think if it's if you lose binary, <laughs> you know, you're thinking that's that you should have already won a match by then given how you know strong her powers Hopefully. appear to be yeah it's yeah i mean it's it's kind of crazy so so what, what are you gonna you're gonna invest in getting captain marvel you just gonna kind of farm her from a free, free I, play perspective or what are you thinking i don't i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see how she, you could get her 
um, we'll see. Yeah. But uh, this character model is looking nice. Yeah, I definitely, I, I can't wait to see some of the animations. Um, it looks like she's, you know, a uh, pretty solid character. And I remember some of the uh, promotional videos that they had online. It seemed like, you know, her animations were pretty cool. Binary form with the uh, the mohawk. I am uh, do like that. So it could be pretty cool. So definitely a fan. So any, any, any last thoughts or words on uh, Captain Marvel? Uh, at this point, she gets a big thumbs up in my opinion, and I'm glad they didn't base her model off of Brie Larson. Yeah, there's. A, I was going to make a comment about uh, <laughs> a workout regimen, but uh, I'm just going to leave that for the uh, you guys people's imaginations. <laughs> and um, but yeah, she's uh, pretty quality there, and um, and you're still sticking with God tier until we see otherwise, as far as those abilities and energy, right? Yep. Nothing. Nothing's changed my mind, and the cooldowns come up but i don't think it'll shift that far yeah good deal well as always i appreciate you joining us valley is there anything you want to promote or say to anybody listening uh just check out my channel and hopefully you guys like that and make sure you hit that subscribe for wolver thor because he does some good stuff on his channel as well thanks man very much appreciate that and like valley sled uh you know if you like what you saw here you know, uh, you want to talk about any theory in the game, see different approaches of the game, please uh, click that subscribe button as well as hammer down on that like button. And uh, we'll see you guys again soon. Thanks.